Tom here. Today we're going to be looking at using old vacuum tubes in perhaps a different way than you'd expect to use them. I sent one of these devices I'm going to show you here to a friend of mine. Told him it'll speed your computer up by maybe five to ten times. Just plug it in to the USB port and away you go. So let's look and see how I make these. Okay, let's have some fun with some old tubes and some LEDs. I have a number of tubes. This is a rectifier tube that the equipment that these are used for is pretty much all obsolete. They were, this is probably even for a black and white rather than a color TV. Um, the pins were corroded. It's like, okay, what can we do with this? Well, let's light it up. So the tube is super glued onto a piece of PVC pipe adapter here. For different size tubes, you can choose different adapters, different lengths, different diameters. This is kind of the right size for this tube. Now one of the things is choosing the right tube. Some tubes, like some tubes like this one, I'd already glued up before I tested it. What I did is I took a Dremel tool and cut the end off of the keyway. This is an octal base. Well, I didn't test it properly. So I take an LED, here's a nice green one, and I put it in the base. Nothing comes through. It has a huge getter spot on the top, but it also has a getter spot on the bottom. And that flash extends to the pinch off on the tube. So this one isn't going to work at all. A large tube like this might be okay, but the large getter spots on the sides might make it not as dramatic as you'd hope. One thing is, don't break the vacuum on the tube because the getter spots turn white and that just doesn't look cool. So this one here is junk. So we'll go back to this tube here and you can buy assortments of LEDs real cheap on the flea bay. So we can just put this LED in here. Now the lights are fairly bright so it might not show up as well on the video but in a lower lit room it looks pretty good. So, we're going with this tube, this adapter, and we get these little USB connectors. So to wire those up, one of the easiest things is to just take a piece of duct tape and tape it down to your workbench. The plus is the nearest to me. Now these have to recurve back because of the shortness of this. So I'm going to solder them. Let me turn this around. Okay, so the plus is away from me now. I'm just going to tack that down. And tack down the minus. These LEDs already have a dropping resistor. They're actually designed for 12 volt applications. Well, that didn't stick. I'll give another shot here. Uh, 
Okay, now I got a good attachment. As I was saying, these LEDs have a resistor already in series and they're designed for 12 volt applications. Of course, the USB is only 5 volts. So they won't be quite as bright as they would in a 12 volt application. But that's fine. We don't need them glaringly bright. So there's our LED. Now these USB connectors came with these covers. This up here is too restrictive. So I'm just going to take a cutters, cut that off. Don't have to be real fancy about it. Now the cover has two little bumps in it there. That goes right in like that. Put the other half on. And we have a nice little setup there. And this will be going in here. And that's just about the right length. Now I did try these with hot melt glue, but it turns real messy. Uh, here's one with hot melt glue. I really didn't like the way it turned out. So what I use is epoxy. I like a fast setting epoxy. Set time 25 minutes, cure in one hour. Uh, the faster the better. So you just take some epoxy out. Take it out of there. And it's best to do this with gloves, but It's real easy to mix up. Just mix it till it's a nice, even consistency. So the two colors are blended. You can position that where you want it. You can fill in a little epoxy ahead of time. Make room for your LED to go through the epoxy. Okay, and that will hold that pretty good. And then we just backfill that. And you can see I mix up more epoxy than what I need. doesn't really matter if you get a little bit on the plastic just keep it away from the metal part and just kind of eyeball it keep smoothing it out if 
you wet your finger, it smooths out real nice. And we'll let that one sit and harden. So we wind up something like that. And that one there was painted. A little isopropyl alcohol and a rag will take the epoxy right off your fingers. Again, I recommend you use gloves. Okay, so here's a completed unit. Spray painted it black. Here's another one. Here's one I did with hot milk glue. Again, I wasn't really thrilled about the results. The LED pulls almost no power, so any kind of old cell phone charger, uh, you can plug this into the USB port of your computer. They look really cool for that. And I'll show you what these look like in lower light. Okay, here's three of them. Red on the left, blue in the center, green on the right. The one in the center is an old uh, four-pin tube. Um, it had a had some damage on the inside. Now I had to drill a little hole in the bottom of the socket to get the LED through but it lights up really nice. Here I have the tube plugged into my keyboard. It can act as a little night light. It looks really cool. And I'll switch that out for a different one here. Here's a tube with a red LED running in it. That's also a rectifier tube. And that big tube really glows. It'll make your computer ten times faster. It's like having a quantum computer. I'm using an angle USB adapter to make it stand upright. You can also use these as night lights, just be careful. They are glass so they can break. So there you have it. Turn old tubes into computer enhancements.